Hey guys, um, I just wanted to show you a cool little hack to basically get um, some more um, headings and t different topics that you can discuss in your article that may not already be discussed on page one. So I'm going to use the keyword best um, cordless drill and Google that. And if I go to say consumer reports or the wire cutter or CNET, I'm going to see a bunch of cordless drills um, reviewed, right? So let's go to this, what looks like an affiliate site, and I'm going to see, um, you know, a bunch of content here, and then I'm going to start to see like this, the specific drills and whatnot, right? Um, so if I was writing a page like this, um, you know, tools, on-page tools tend to give you like what other pages are talking about. Um, if you've used my um, blog topics, Hiding in Plain Sight, you know that um, when you click back, you have um, these uh, uh, other sort of topics that you can talk about. But I'm going to show you one more place that you can get topics. So um, what you do is basically go back to the search result after having searched your money keyword and type in things like how to. So now here we've got how to choose a drill, how to buy a drill, how to use a cordless drill, how to drill glass, and then they get a little bit less relevant as you go down. Um, another one you can do is what is. Um, so again, these are um, different things like what is an impact driver. This is definitely something that you could put um, in in your content. So. Uh, the other and the other one I like to use is when to. There's probably others, but um, you know when to use a hammer drill, when to use an impact drill. These are all things that you could put um, within your within your content, right? So uh, basically, your your the thing that I'm trying to get at is um, you know tools like Surfer, Phrase um, are, are all like great tools. Don't get me wrong. Um, but they're not going to give you um, topics that are outside of what's already ranking on uh, page one, right? So uh, basically, if you do this trick, um, you can kind of get to see what searches are actually um, looking for, um, not just, um, you know, not just uh, what the other pages are, are typically going to surface in their titles and their headings and all that kind of stuff. So basically you're just going to search the keyword, your money keyword, and then you're going to go back and put in some informational terms like how to, when to, what is, I'm sure there are others as well. And then, um, you know, record what those headings are and, uh, and then use that in your content. Anyway, that's my hack for you today. Um, it's SEO notebook. That's my, uh, that's my site. Um, it's going to get cut off here, obviously, but, um, I basically, um, have a list, an email list where, um, I do, uh, like a weekly strategy email, um, delivered to your inbox on Tuesdays. Um, I'm going to start trying to do more videos with them. Uh, but anyway, that's my site and, uh, it's free to use and we have 6,000 subscribers now. Got to update that. And, uh, yeah, pretty good open rates and engagement and all that kind of stuff. Um, all right, that's it for today and hope uh, that tip helps you. Bye.